How's it going everyone? I hope you're doing well. And we are exactly four weeks away from Ironman Texas to the day. Today's Saturday, four weeks today, I will be doing Ironman Texas. I'm super excited, but we've got a big weekend ahead. And by weekend, I mean Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm gonna show you everything, but I hope you're doing well and let's get going. over 22 miles down and my goodness is it windy today. Whoa. Alrighty, well we're just over two hours in. Two intervals down, four more to go, but I've stopped quickly for a little break because I'm out of water. Gonna grab a snack, maybe even a little Snickers bar to keep me going. But we're feeling good. Absolutely beautiful day out here and I'm having a great time. I'm definitely the most aerodynamic shopper in here. Absolutely cruising through these aisles. <laughs> well, unfortunately they didn't have a Snickers bar, but I got some water and one of these Gatorades, get some more salt in me. A couple more minutes here, then we'll head back out and keep going. That's the bike all done. That was pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. We did 92.7 miles in four hours and 56 seconds, averaging 226 watts. Oh, I'll link this travel file down below, as always, if you wanna see the whole workout. But that was pretty tough. The wind made that just brutal. But look, we got 90 minutes now, we gotta go run. I didn't come all the way out here just to do a bike ride. So let's put the running shoes on. Let's go see what we can do. Not much worse. <laughs> Come on then. 90 minutes, Iron Man pace. Let's get going. Ooh. Twenty minutes in, just over three miles down. Let's keep going. Mile four, six twenty eight. Benny buffoon. Mile five, six thirty three. Six miles down, 6.27 pace for that one. 45 minutes in, just under seven miles down. Let's keep going. Mile eight, 6.20. One hour in, just under nine and a half miles down. Oh. <laughs> Well, I truly do never learn. Called it after an hour and two minutes, running 9.6 miles at a 6.28 average pace. That was just silly. I also didn't bring any water with me, so I felt like I was going to combust. <laughs> but anyway, we'll take the positives from today. Great bike ride. It was a good run. Just should have slowed down and kept going. But anyway, super happy with today. It was such a beautiful day. I just wish it wasn't so windy on the bike ride. But anyway, what a Saturday. Gonna head home now, eat a lot of food, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for another bike ride. Texas is coming, baby. Let's go. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Easter Sunday today. Beautiful day outside. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit exhausted from yesterday's bike and run, but I'm super happy with how that went. Got mom and dad outside doing some weeding. 
and I am super happy because we got to let the chickens out today. I, I would love to let them out more than we can, but the hawks, they just, you have to be out here with them. So we got to let them out today. They're absolutely loving it, as you can see here. So I do have an easy two hour run to do later. I'm gonna put that off as long as possible, do it in the afternoon. I still have stuff to do today. Got my video to get posted later. The chickens, I'm gonna spend as much time as I can out here with them. But I just wanna say, the amount of people that have reached out to me and said the way I say chickens, the chickens, <laughs> is gonna change the way they say it from now on, makes me so happy. As you know, I love my chickens. Just everything chickens makes me happy. But what a day, let's enjoy it. And since it's Easter Sunday, I think we need a little bit of chicken footage. We don't have like Easter egg hunts around here. Well, today we might actually. There, <laughs> there might be eggs all over the garden by the end of the day. But let's roll some chicken footage. So two hours today, just nice and easy. The goal is to flush out the legs from yesterday, prepare for a big week next week. If I go too hard, I just screw everything up. So that is not what we need. Not like that run I did yesterday. Silly Ben. <laughs> but anyway, got my country music on. Got the gravel bike out. Not because there's gravel around here, just because it's a really comfortable ride. Just wanted to mix it up for a change. But two hours, nice and easy. Just gonna go enjoy it. <laughs> Look at the size of these. My goodness. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Just went down to the chickens, picked up 25 eggs from the weekend. I don't think I've showed you this. I have a little stamp that I put on my egg boxes. Ben's Fluffy Butt Hut. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. But um, slept in this morning. I was so tired. So I've got a few extra hours of sleep. About to head off to the swim though. These eggs are gonna go to my coach. Gotta make sure she stays stocked up on eggs. We got a big run today, and that is the main focus. So I swim with a master's group, which is conveniently coached by my coach most of the time, but I never know the swim set ahead of time, which for the most part is probably a good thing because if I knew how hard some of these swims were gonna be, I might not show up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kind of. But anyway, Monday, Mondays are usually what we like to call Mellow Monday, which is a nice recovery swim, kind of recover from the weekend, start the week off right. So fingers crossed that's what we have today. But let's head in and find out. Alrighty, this is my coach, and the question we've all been wanting is today mellow. Yes, today is Mellow Monday. Okay, good, you can have your eggs now. Oh, okay, <laughs> I get eggs. We're gonna start out with some drills. Um, Ben's favorite drill where he puts the kickboard between his legs and we're working on rotation and connecting. <laughs> and then some kick, which is Ben's prob- actually that's probably his first favorite thing because it's kick without fins. <laughs> reaction. <laughs> Mellow Monday day. Yes, just what we wanted. <laughs>
Well, that's the swim all done. Just over 4,000 yards today. Nice, easy, mellow Monday, just as we wanted. But it's just coming up on 1 p.m. now. The day is getting hotter, which is perfect. And we're going to head home, get some lunch in me because I'm starving. And then we got a two and a half hour run to do. So let's get after it. Hello. Okay, we're back. Same place as last time. Same workout, four by 20 minutes, and I've been strictly limited to 655 pace for those 20 minutes but we're gonna get this run done today. And if you're wondering why I'm so adamant about getting this run done, it's because dad and I were here just last week with the same exact workout and I had a stomach problem and I couldn't finish the run. So we're gonna do it again and we're gonna do it right today. And I've got my race nutrition with me because we're so close to Texas now that I just need to train my gut and make sure I'm okay taking these gels during the race. But we got a two and a half hour run. We're gonna get this one done, so let's go. Nice yeah, really nice today, isn't it? Beautiful day. Nothing else I'd want to do than run in the rain for two and a half hours. <laughs> We're just coming to the end of the warm up. The rain looks like it's passed over for now, which is great. We're going to start the first interval. And we're going to be smart for this workout. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm telling myself. <laughs> but we got to be smart. First interval down, 20 minutes, averaging 6.53. That's much better. Five minutes easy now. And then we do all that three more times. Interval number two down, 20 minutes, averaging 6.50. It's a little bit fast, but that's still okay. But we're two down, which means just two more to go. The sun has come back out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Number three done. A little bit too fast for that one. 6.43 pace. But that's three down. Just one more to go now. Oh, there we go. Number four done. Definitely too fast for that one at a 6.31 average. But that was a good workout. We're just closing in on two hours now. So we're gonna keep it steady, go to two and a half. What a workout. Oh, that feels good. Well, I'm super happy with how that run went. I knew we were gonna get it done today and my stomach felt way better. So whatever it was that I ate last time, didn't happen this time, so I'm really happy about that. But uh, that was as much of a mental boost as it was a physical boost. Just getting over the two and a half hour hurdle this close to Texas just feels really good. I'm super happy we got that one done. A big thanks to my dad too, because I couldn't have done it without him. But what a run, really, really happy with that one. <laughs> oh god, that's disgusting. Well, what a week into training. Just under four weeks away from Texas now. We're gonna keep up this momentum. Great way to end it there with a two and a half hour run. But wow, we're getting close. The fitness is really good, I think. Still time to improve. But I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend. I'm gonna make a video for three weeks out, two weeks out, one week out. So there's a lot more content coming for Iron Man Texas, but that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one.